if we get better as a football team and show up uh, ready to go on Saturday, I like our chances. And uh, they come in here two and four, but that's a little deceptive. They've had a pretty good team this year, and they've had some shootouts. Yeah, they've, uh, you know, like they lost to Central Arkansas, I think it's 48 to 46, something like that. Every game that they play is, is, has been tight. Uh, uh, beating Nichols down there at Nichols is just a testament of how good of a football team they are. They, they beat them 47 to 37 down there in Thibodeau. So, uh, you know, anytime you got a guy that used to be the number one rated recruit in the nation as your quarterback, you, you better get yourself prepared. Yeah, Rhett Bomar. And plus, uh, Bauer Stadium will be rocking 2 o'clock kickoff on Saturday. It'll, that place is always tough to play. It's a tough place to play. Uh, I'm thinking we're going to have a lot of fans heading that direction, though. Uh, saw a bunch of them Saturday. Uh, a bunch of my former teammates for being at the T Association weekend that we had this last weekend. So it was good seeing a bunch of those guys and, and uh, ho hoping that uh, it wasn't just talk and hoping they all show up down there and uh, – in uh, Huntsville for us. That's right. A lot on the line this weekend. Texas State and Sam Houston State. It's a kickoff of 2 o'clock. Uh, we'll be there. We'll make sure that we have the highlights for you, and we'll talk a lot more about Sam Houston State when Inside Bobcat football returns in just a minute. Bobcat Scoreboard is sponsored by Bud Light. University, the rising star of Texas. Welcome back to Inside Bobcat Football with head coach Brad Wright. Well, coming up, big game against Sam Houston State. Everyone always talks about Rhett Balmar. They got some good receivers, too, over there in Huntsville. Yeah, they, uh, he threw the ball 69 times uh, this last weekend uh, versus Southeastern and threw for over 500 yards. He's got, a, uh, you know, obviously a pedigree that everybody knows about. He was the number one rated recruit in the nation here a couple of years ago. And... Uh, out of the University of Oklahoma, uh, down to Sam Houston State. Uh, great receiving core. Obviously, when you're throwing the ball, uh, uh, there's got to be some guys out there catching them. I know Catron uh, Houston does a great job. I believe that's their leading receiver out there. And they've got to have an offensive line getting in some time. So, you know, they're a very good offensive football team, no, about it, uh, no doubt about it. Defensively, 4-2-5, they come at you from all different places. It's a blitz, uh, blitz and come get them type of uh, a group. And, uh, uh, they're getting better each week, and uh, well, we've got to come over there ready to play and uh, obviously with a lot of st at stake for us. You're coming off a game where you had four forced turnovers. Uh, obviously, turnovers, again, could be a key role. You guys have done a really good job with that all year. Well, anytime you play a quarterback that's going to put the ball up in the air 69, 70 times a game, you better start putting some pressure on him because if you allow him to stand back there uh, uh, unimpeded, he's going he's gonna to get the ball where he needs to, to get it. So we've got to do a great job getting uh, – pressure on the, on the quarterback, hit him a couple of times, uh, and uh, start making him think about that instead of hitting his receivers. It's been a great year all the way around at Texas State University. The volleyball team, a number one seed going into the tournament after winning the Southland Conference regular season. Soccer team not only wins the regular season, wins the tournament. Football team uh, can do something here also very special and, uh, and be the representative into the postseason. Well, we're going to try to do our part to, to make it a trifecta. You know, it's, it's one of those deals where it's a great time to be a Bobcat and, and uh, our, our hats off to Coach Chisholm and the volleyball team and Coach Connor and the, and the, uh, and the soccer team for the job that they've done and are, are continuing to do there with volleyball with the tournament this weekend. Uh, we're going to do our part. We're going to prepare and get ourselves ready to play and, and uh, uh, our, our hats off to our kids for, uh, for hanging in there and persevering and, and practicing every week and getting better and uh, something to play for here at the end. You know, you said that you got a chance to talk to some of the, the players you used to play with. It was just good to see those guys. I know you want to see a big turnout in Huntsville. You got some plans to get them all there. What are you thinking? Well, you know, the, the plans have already been laid. Uh, putting ourselves in this position where the game means something, uh, a conference championship ought to be a motivation enough for some fans to, to load up and head that direction. But hopefully we'll get to see some of the guys down there in Huntsville. Okay, very good. All right, Inside Bobcat Football. Don't forget you can catch it every Monday night at 1035 on News 8 Austin. We'll have the highlights of the Sam Houston State game coming up next week. For Brad Wright, I'm Jeff Power. We'll see you then.